Hello, welcome to my first Laravel tutorial series. Uh, this is a series, and I teach about Laravel from start to the medium level. Uh, but I promise, uh, the main Laravel technologies are all included in this series. So subscribe this channel and watch the, all the series. I hope you guys all familiar with Laravel and you can develop Laravel application soon by watching this tutorial. Okay, let's get it. The first thing I have to uh, describe you what is the Komoza. The Komoza is the niche of Laravel. It's the command line that can develop, uh, that can Follow the dependencies of Laravel, and it's all contain other PHP uh, commands or expose many things about Laravel. If you do not match about Composer, you don't uh, you must head head in Laravel. But don't worry, this is so easy. I'm sure you. In Composites, uh, for the window users, getting started page, and getting started page, the window users are just download the Composites installation file. Uh, okay, download. In the download, Composites are the images. The window users just download this file and just run, uh, including next, 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 and finish. So Komoza will completely install in your local machine. Uh, if uh, the Komoza may, uh, the Komoza always says where is the PHP uh, and the X PHP directory. So you need to try in your local machine and PHP may, uh, if you use them, key them Sam, uh, enter, and then you see PHP, PHP to AC. Uh, you need to locate this location if XPHP. Okay, uh, let's record as I have the composers already, so I can start Laravel now. Uh, to start Laravel, uh, in this tutorial series, I will not use my uh, previous documentation or other documentation. Uh, I don't, I, I no longer use this. So I just use this Laravel official documentation because it's changing, it's updating the version every time. So let's see 4.250 now 4.6. So you need to, you need to understand the official documentation instead of other documentations. So let's get it. Uh, in the documentation, uh, installation, uh, this is the uh, minimum requirements to install Laravel. Latex 5.6. Uh, if you imagine or if your server is lower than PHP 7.1, and you can try in there 5.5 or 5.4 or something like this. Okay, uh, let me check my PHP version. My PHP version is to check PHP version, just run PHP minor key. Oh, 5.6, it, it just later. So I need to change. It's very outdated. So to change PHP version, you can use, you can change in system environments and change in there. So you will see, you will see PHP. Uh, but in fact, you can change it. So oh my latest down is right, right here. So just change this, and yes, yes. 
all the lucky five. Okay. Uh, let's just yeah. Uh, I I might uh I'm doing this because I have uh many PH revising, so I can change like this. So you can always you can also do like this if you have PHP version more than one. Okay. Uh, so I can start download this version five point six. Uh, I think later is the best, isn't it? Okay, uh, to install Laravel, just run according to the documentation. Uh, there are many many Laravel. Just I don't use this. Uh, this is really doesn't need. So I use this in every time. Compose a create project with a Laravel block. Also, I I have to tell you about if you already installed the computer, you can run this command. Uh, so then uh, this means you your computer setup is everything is fine. Uh, if this does not appear, you need to check again on the computer installation and you need to do it again. Okay. Uh, let's run computer create project in our machine. So I need to let me locate Understand. But so whatever it doesn't need to locate, understand. Uh, but for me, I always do PHP and understand for her. That's why. Okay, uh, we can simply run this command. So, Laravel. Uh, sorry, let me change the folder structure. Uh, this block is the folder name that we download and paste it paste it there. So this folder name might be I'm gonna uh first Laravel tutorial. Let me set it like this. Okay. Now Kumozar is download from the online and paste in the Laravel tutorial folder. Is well created right there. So under HTTPS, yes, love uh, it doesn't appear yet, but after this finish, it will create the tutorial. It will create the folder name love tutorial. Okay, it let it download from the internet and. Uh, the thing may later need to use, provided I uh, need to use. Okay. Uh, while downloading, let me introduce about some Laravel installation. Okay. Just after this setup, you may need to you can run this command, which I did myself. So the it gives the it gives the URL that can run the south, that can run to see the project. So uh, this link copy paste and paste in there and you can run now. Uh, the configuration is for the first time you need to do the configuration some configuration uh, like some uh, database stretches and Admin, yes. Let me press my recording after download is complete. I will continue it again. Okay, let's go. I'm done downloading. I'm done downloading all that I need. Uh, you see many kinds of Laravel plugins, uh, many kinds of dependencies and downloads in the Kumosa Create Project Laravel. It's amazing. And so, you can run, we can run this our project right here. So, CT, uh, I forgot my application name. 
root 2, no, the trillion. 2 root 2, oh, ah, yeah, the trillion. Okay, we can write now, find the common THP addition set. Uh, you will, I, by watching this video series, you, I promise, you will be surely familiar with all the commands that Laravel that supports. It is, it is really not very hard. But uh, I promise it really fun. So you can run now. And then you will see Laravel. This is the first page of the Laravel. Uh, so congratulations, you are now, you can develop the application. Okay. Okay, let's start it. To start uh, every kind of web language, do you think what is needs to start at the beginning? I think route. Yes, route is the URL and whatever you want to go, you need to write URL and you need to go at the URL, whatever you want to create or update or something, render the page, you need uh the route is the basic thing of to start the application. So uh let's start the route. Okay, route route okay, here is the route. Uh routing it's very really the routing can spoke get post put and delete. You will see? Okay. Uh, so let's start it with get first this is the first uh, first test of route so you can just simply copy this line and uh, let me open the application first okay Here, uh, application. Okay, route. Uh, the line that I copy is where to write. Uh, here, route. In the route, there are supposed both API and web. Uh, for now, we can start it with web. So, we can just post in this. Uh, route get. This means our applications will run slash full, so it will render hello world. Let's check it out. Slash full. Okay, hello world. Uh, this is every standard of programming reasons. All programmer can know. If we can hello world, we can do everything <laughs> like this. Okay, so. This is the very simple example of routing, okay, but this is the very static. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, route can refer to the directly return to the view or something like test or something, but it should be, it can also refer to the controller function. So it's more or sense, isn't it? The controller, uh, I hope you are already familiar with MVC pattern. MVC means uh, the route is going to the controller and the controller returns to the to ren render the view. Uh, I get data of the model and render the view, isn't it? So we can use controller. We can start a controller in here. <coughs> to create controller, that I don't need need to create uh, with code. So just run command. Uh, where is the command? Where is the command? Okay. Uh, simply copy this command and run. So the controller will appear in the application. But uh, DPP. Yes, okay. And under this folder, the controller will appear. 
you know, personal. I ran this command. Uh, photo controller. So control create a successful loop. Okay, photo controller. Let it. Okay. Okay. Right now, I go into the controller, photo controller, and route get function. Get. Uh, photo controller is should be photo, isn't it? Photo function. Ah no, no need to write function. So you can render the controller directly. So uh, let me check. The version are uh, always changing, so you need to very familiar with this uh, documentation. I always use doing like this. I never trust my brain or the my test or something. I really trust this one. So we need to render the controller function B. Okay. We can use like this. So our controller is photo controller. Yes, photo controller. X in this function. Photo controller in this function. Taking out in this one. Okay. Here. Uh, check it out. So here is the pool. Uh, I didn't. Uh, we need to run again. Uh, this is the run command. Uh, so in here, pool. Rendered hello all, but photo render photo controller in this function right now. So quite easy, isn't it? Uh, congratulations, you are now very familiar with routing. Trust me, it's not very hard. The live deployment is really amazing, and no need to get so much time to write complex application. So. We got get routing, isn't it? So uh, in the next tutorial, I will show you about the CIUD application. Uh, we need to uh, yes, like the CIUD, and you will know about the other route like post or uh, put or uh, like this. You are very happy in the next tutorial. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial video. See you next video. Bye.